Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make custom um, window shades for your RV trailer and we have an Airstream. So these are double-sided. The one side that's facing out is going to be the reflective surface that's going to, one, reflect the sunlight back out um, and it's bubbles so it's going to have an insulating factor as well and sound um, proofing. Um, not proofing, but sound dampening. So these I'm custom made for each window. I'll show you how I did that. The interior, so what we will see if we have these up, I have it coated with a, a fabric with a fun print on it so it doesn't look so um, metallic on the inside because it's double-sided material. But they're flexible and um, they do a really good job at sealing off and blocking off the light and also providing that extra insulating um, layer there. So it's really cool. So how I made this to get this custom one made, um, we ordered from Amazon. I'm sure you can get it in a lot of places. It's, this is a strip of it, but a really long piece, a big container of um, insulating material. So this is basically looks like bubble wrap. You can see in there, there's air pockets. That's going to be that insulating factor. And both sides of it are reflective. Now, I then went to the Airstream or the trailer and got the interior dimensions of the windows, um, their height and width. And for ours is curved, we have an old Airstream. So I was able to then, to get those um, things cut, I got the painter's tape put, um, this is a regular gift pastry paper. It's not big enough for the whole window, but I was able to trace out the corner edges. And um, when I went to cut these big pieces, all I had to do was cut the square of the basic dimensions and then put this, you know, I cut out the pattern on the corners and then cut around the rounded edges so you have a really custom um, cut shape, okay? Now, um, then once we did that, the next layer I did is I added a spray adhesive. A spray adhesive, this is the one I'm using, but there's some other ones out there, I think they should all work. I added a spray adhesive, sprayed the inside coating. So the outside, the, the, what's facing the outside, I want to keep it that um, reflective material. I have Velcro and magnets to attach it around the frame of the window because this is going to be um, on sitting on the outside frame. So the inside frame would might come up to here to the window pane and this covers it out so you can have a nice seal, right? Um, anyways, so I sprayed this with a spray and I got a really lightweight cotton fabric with a nice print. Um, from our local fabric store, got a few yards of that, and I was able to lay the fabric onto the, um, the shade. And I'm going to show you the next step what I'm doing. So I'm on my last one. I don't know the longevity of these. I Hopefully they'll work for quite a long time, but this is kind of the process here. So after I laid the fabric, you can see it's adhesively, you know, supported there. I can fold this around. It's not going to fall off. Um, but I wanted to find a fast and easy way just to make it so the edges wouldn't fray and you want to have all these flops of fabric. So what I did then is I got a hot glue gun and there might be other ways of doing this. I don't know. This is just what we had available. And I'm making a bead of hot glue along the plastic edges of the shade and you can see there. And then I'm just folding over the fabric and pressing it down until it makes a nice cover right there. And it's still warm to the touch. Be careful. It's going to be hot. It's hot glue. But I'm making, letting that dry, right, until it's pretty solid. And you can see here, once that happens, I go through and I get my scissors and I trim it up so it's a nice and even seam. And in the areas, like, we have our windows to open up. We have some, not I notch things out to make the, um, and it actually is really helpful because it makes it sit in the windows even better and a little firmer um, in addition to some of the, you can see the um, Velcro and magnets that we use depending on the window frame of the RV or trailer. But for these little notches, if you have these, all I do is cut it like this, kind of like a gift. So you're going to do a triangle towards the bottom and two little fluffs. Then you're going to do your bead across the bottom and your bead across the sides of that hot glue and just fold it up. And remember, it is hot. So, and just kind of keep pressure on it. So you make a nice seam right there, and once it cools, I'm gonna go a little fast, but once it cools, you'll just trim it up there. That's still not cooled completely, but there we go. And I can trim that up even more. I'd be able to trim this part up. Let's see, I can do this down. And it's just this simple. Just kind of run that through. I'm not going to go all the way because I need to still add some more beading to the side. But you can see how this, you know, 
adhesive sprayed fabric, lightweight cotton fabric, and there's others you might be able to use a stronger glue, so I wanted something like that. Um, well, over time, what those steps become a nice fitted and custom shade for your trailer, RV, camper, whatever vehicle. Um, they can roll up, but we're just probably going to keep them flat. And when we park, if we're going to go out for a long day, you know, we want to make sure the ACs are on full blast when we get home. Or just for privacy at night, we have a toddler, so nap time, we need it to be darkened. Um, we thought these were going to be better than some of the pool shades and allow us a little bit more privacy, plus that, you know, reflective surface to get some of that sun's energy back out and not going into your RV, causing damage. A lot of um, sun can damage plastics and materials over time. So in storage and when we're using it, these are going to be great. So hopefully you enjoy that. Um, we'll follow up if they don't work. We're, you know, we're making them right now. We are going to test out the RV in a few weeks. Um, well, the trailer in a few weeks. We have a 1977 Airstream. Woohoo! Um, hopefully they'll, you know, last for a long time. I'm slightly concerned that the adhesive spray won't be strong enough to hold the fabric in place and it might start bellowing, but I hope with the hot glue edge on the edges on the seal, that's going to prevent that from being a huge issue. Um, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully you enjoy that and be inspired to make something yourself. Thank you so much. Bye.